family oriented. It's been supportive, it's been open. I've always had this problem of being alone. So knowing that I don't have to have a name. With that, I've grown a lot. We are all sharing with one another. Say she's doing my poem. You got a poem? I do, I do poetry. I feel like each woman in that pod has a voice and, and they want to be heard. That from sitting in this cold cell while others are waiting for a bell, wondering why some bitches smell or hell wait on the jail. It's always about, you know, the bad things that they did and, you know, the struggles that they have. When she talked about her, I said, bitch, you a liar. Huh. Cuss her ass out when I'm finna do. You can just hear within how they talk that they don't believe in themselves. They don't think they're worthy. You know what I mean? It's so hard. You know, they, they don't have a lot of positive things to hold on about themselves. When I was arrested for aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon, my heart sunk. Nobody's ever gonna forgive me. It's a violent crime. You know, and the thing that broke the cycle of incarceration for me is knowing with all the knowledge and gifts and talents that I had and the support system that I had, I had to find another way. That old saying, once a thief, always a thief, is not true. I like to call myself a reentry coach. I help people reentering society after prison, probation, and parole. So my mission is about getting as many people as I can just to start thinking about the next steps beyond these walls. Does writing help you? Like a release? The writing is a release for me. Like, get out of the way. It's like each and every one of them. Oh, is it people? Okay. That's just silly. They're definitely fighting for opportunity to express themselves. Uh, are you a comedian? She didn't need to be. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, this bitch. Right? Yeah. So, you know, just knowing that some ladies had talent. When I see the choices I made, I sit and wonder why. How could I have been so blind? Not just in the fury in his eyes. I don't know why you don't see more. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. And I've heard that my mother and also my brother conducted talent shows when they were incarcerated. So I just was kind of throwing it out there. I was like, hey, we should have open mic night, open mic night. So that's kind of where I got the idea from. You're a racist. Yeah.